Hey everyone, welcome to Rotter 2 Brief. I just want to give you an update. A sad update. Um, okay, <clears throat> all the fish are doing really good. The water is crystal clear. No nitrates, no phosphates. Wow, look at these guys. So, what's the problem? Well, I don't know, maybe a month ago, I got a new coral, and I wanted to show you guys that I quarantine everything. New fish, new coral, you always want to do that before you put it into my, into my tank, into your tank. Long story short, um, in the quarantine tank for the new coral, I also put in all my other coral two reasons I did that all this rock with the coral on it this is star polyps this is uh, Duncan coral back there with my like 30 heads on it um, two reasons I put all the rock with my coral in it in the quarantine as well because I was getting the sand out of here and when I lifted one of these large rocks with no sand bed, I saw that there was a lot of like uneaten food and stuff that settles underneath the rock even though there's no sand and stuff. And I wanted to get even more of the sand out of here. I don't have a sand bed because it was just holding a lot of nitrates. Uh, it was capturing a lot of the uneaten food and the fish waste. So I got rid of it. And it's so much easier to clean too, by the way. Nitrates are lower, phosphates are lower, because it's not getting trapped in there. Um, so I believe maybe you should either have a deep, deep sand bed of four inches minimum to harness all that live bacteria that'll eat that stuff away. But long story short, a lot of people are getting rid of their sand beds, but I'm getting off topic. So when I moved one of the rocks to siphon around it, there was just all this fish waste and uneaten food so I'm like you know what while I'm gonna be getting this these two small coral frags and I'm gonna put them in the tank let me just put the rest of my coral with the rock in that 20 gallon long as well right no big deal and I put my snails in there too a couple of them and uh, just to kinda keep it a little clean someone just went to the washroom and uh, so I did a water change every four or five days. You don't have to do it that much because there were no fish in there. Well, at the end of the four weeks when I was going to put all the rock back in uh, and those new corals, why wait four weeks? I think it was five weeks because if any parasites came in on the water from the fish store, it takes about five weeks for them to die and get killed off because they only eat fish. And if there's no fish to eat, they'll die. So you do six weeks minimum. So I went to go. The corals were looking not too good. The lighting was the same Phoenix light that I have up here, and the corals love it. Um, all these corals are dead. I'm still keeping the rock in here, but the star polyps that started out as a little frag that I've had for like, God, five years, spreading on all my rock, gone. Look at dead. Look at frog spawn dead. And it's pretty safe to say my two head Duncan that turned into 30 or 40 heads easily, dead. Everything's dead. I have no coral. Look at this. Nothing. I got nothing. Dead. All dead. Dead. I had two snails die and I didn't realize it because they were like in the rocks and I didn't see them climbing around for the last two weeks. The corals started to look less well and they started to get smaller and I figured well I'll do another water change. They're going to be in the main tank soon again. There probably wasn't enough flow. Even though I had a small power head, I had a high door power head and I had the LED which was actually closer 
to the water to the top of the corals than this is anyway those snails have passed away let me just say this they're toxic they're bombs nitrate bombs and that water smelled so bad that last week that I ugh, got the rock out of there the coral looked just like it did right now so those snails dying acted like a toxic nitrate bomb or something all I know is that water was so nasty it smelled like a Walmart bathroom it didn't smell like that the last week everything was fine but the last week and a half the corals started to go downhill nitrates were like zero and phosphates were pretty much non-existent I kept on top of the water changes they're all dead so anyway there's the Mandy always camera shy again that's the news for now um, I think I'm gonna like not have corals for a while I'm enjoying the fish with just the rock everything's doing really well I'll get coral again never been much of a coral person but I like them just for the flow the plan was to have all my star polyps go on to the glass this it'll come back I'll, I'll get one or two frags I'll get a star polyp and I'll get a Duncan and of course frog spawn this really bothers me this was massive it was like 10 inches wide by 6 inches long or 6 wide 10 inches long I got that it was like a 4 year old, a 5 year old coral cost me a decent amount and that 35 head Duncan to be gone bothers me why don't I take these out well same reason I didn't take this Duncan out when I first got it it had two heads it took four months to open up I'm pretty sure it's dead but I, I just this is dead this is coming out today but these star polyps, star polyps are so damn hardy that I just believe maybe something will come back. I doubt it, though. Anyway, I'm really upset. Not as upset as I was. But I don't know. It is what it is. I feel bad. At least my fish are fine. I lost all that money in corals. But most importantly, I love those corals, and they were beautiful. I had them growing just like I wanted. They were full, flowing every every coral looked awesome I should have never taken them out I took them out to show what a full coral quarantine tank would look like I should have just quarantined my two new plugs and been done with it that's it anyway um, have a great weekend I'll see you guys next weekend hopefully your tanks are doing really well